Kappa Server represents the second generation of permanent downhole gauge data management and reservoir surveillance tools. Linked in a seamless workflow, Kappa Server allows the user to capture in a logical data hierarchy, pressure, rate or other continuous data for smart filtering, QA, QC, and dynamic data analysis in the workstation modules Sapphire, Topaz, and Ruby. In Kappa Server, new functionality has been added and a platform developed for a deeper integration with third-party workflows. We will now take a look at some of the new functionality. Locating candidate data for transit analysis, in particular associated with long-term PDG data, has been enhanced by the addition of a new navigator window. When used in association with the zoom functions, it is now straightforward to identify, for example, a single or multiple buildups for analysis. The second generation Wavelet algorithm means a greater user control over filtered data by strictly ensuring real data points are used in the subsequent analysis. This provides the user with greater choice over filter systems. Let us now look at how transients might be captured and transferred into Sapphire for transit analysis. PDG data is very high frequency and is often unusable in its raw form unless filtered. Here we load a downhole pressure gauge for a well with over 3 million points. We can now apply smart filters to the data. The denoising filter reduces the noise of the original points, shown here in green, to a smooth data set shown in blue. Next, we reduce the number of points with smart filtering. A common way to filter is to sample points at regular time intervals, shown here by the light blue points. This method, although suitable for long-term history matching, does not capture early time transient data, which is essential for well test analysis. Instead, Kappa Server filters the data at regular time intervals but also captures early time transient behavior by including additional data points where there is large changes in pressure. Using this method, we capture low frequency data points at late times during drawdowns and buildup periods, but also capture high frequency points during the transients. The same filters can be applied to the rate gauge data. The next step in well test analysis is synchronization of rate and pressure data. Current practice is to do this manually. However, in Kappa Server, this can be done automatically for the entire production history. Shut ins can be picked manually or identified automatically for a minimum shut in duration. The filtered rate gauge is then corrected to zero rate during the identified shut in periods. Once this is complete, we can now go back to the shut-in identifier, select the shut-ins, and export them via the Shut-in Express tool. Fully synchronized and filtered build-up data from PDG gauges is now ready for analysis in Sapphire. The example we have just looked at is using Kappa Server to capture high-frequency, high-resolution pressure data, wavelet filtering, and subsequent drag-and-drop into Sapphire for pressure transient analysis. The same workflow can also be used to filter long-term, low-resolution rate data and associated pressures for rate transit analysis in Topaz. New to Kappa Server is GeoReference Wells with multiple bitmap layering and Google Map interface. When defining a new map, we can now define reference coordinates. This can be done from a local grid or by selecting from GeoReference. Here we obtain our geo-reference by searching a location in Google Maps and then selecting a new reference point. Location reference image overlays can then be imported. These could be maps which may influence production such as property or saturation maps. Within the layer manager, the hierarchy and transparency of the layers can be adjusted. Possibly the most important development in Kappa Server is the addition of open server technology. It allows third-party applications to access data stored in Kappa Server. This might be raw or filtered data, analysis results from workstation documents. The open server technology will be further developed to include access to other Kappa Server objects such as PVT, relative permeability data, maps, and other technical objects. Let us look at two possible applications. 
A client uses Kappa Server to connect to and filter PDG data. They also store rate data and well test analysis results. The company uses Petrel and subsequently performs Eclipse simulations. It is possible to write a plugin to pull the case server data automatically when the simulation is run, thus saving tedious data loads for the engineer and reducing the possibility of error. A user request for pressure and rate history using the specifically developed Petrel plugin from within the Petrel RE application. The plugin automatically connects to Kappa Server via the Open Server interface, requesting for pressure and rate data for a selected well or group of wells. Open Server sends the requested data to the plugin. This data is automatically saved in the Petrel data hierarchy. The pressures and rates are included into the Petrel's development strategy. The user simply runs the simulation with the included data. For more information, contact support at kappaeng.com or your local Kappa office.